Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here and today we want to talk about how to scale in Blender. Here's a Parsons table that was created in SketchUp and imported into Blender using OBJ. So, as I look at this object, I can click on it and select it and the scale command is going to be the S key or we can use the gizmo. So the gizmo is pretty self-explanatory. If you drag along the x-axis, which is the red axis, it'll, it'll edit it there. If you drag along the y-axis, it basically scales it about there and the blue axis the same so that's pretty much the gizmo so if we turn the gizmo off and we just hit the s key then we're scaling about all axes together if we hit the x key then we scale about just the x-axis the y key the y-axis and of course the z key the z-axis now another thing that we can do is we can also restrict an axis. So if we want to keep it, this, this table about the same height, but scale about the X and Y plane. So the way we do that is we type in the S key and we have shift Z because Z is the axis that we're restricting it to. So you notice it stays the exact same height. So that's an interesting feature as well. We can also do the same thing about the X and Y, of course. Hit the S key, shift X, and we've basically restricted to scaling about the Z and the Y we locked the X axis. So same thing for the Y axis. So here we are in SketchUp and we're going to look at the scale command in SketchUp. Now in SketchUp one thing you'll notice is that you can scale about the opposite axis. And of course in SketchUp you hold a modifier key down to scale about the center. Uh, but the default is scaling about the opposite axis. So we want to talk about how do we scale about the opposite axis in Blender. So let's take a look at it. Scale in Blender uses a 3D cursor to rotate about the opposite side. So the way this works is you right click on a side and remember when you right click that positions the 3D cursor. Wherever you put it, it's going to position it right there on that. So if I put that 3D cursor on this side and I type in the S key and I want to scale about the X dimension because I'm going to, I want to scale it that way. So I hit the S and I type in X and Notice nothing happens. And why is that? Well, that's because we're still scaling it about this center because we have this setting created right here. We're scaling about the meeting point. We want to scale about the 3D cursor. So let's do that again. SX, and now we're scaling about the 3D cursor. The shortcut for that, if you recall, is that the period key will set the scale point to the 3D cursor. Let's put it over here. SY and now we're doing about there and the comma key lets us scale about the center of the object right so that's the comma key so one other thing to note about scaling is notice that when we scale something the dimensions change but so does the scale of the object change we're going to talk a little bit about that later but that's critical typically after we scale something we're going to want to basically transform that scale so that these all equal back to one rotation is normal also to do that we'll go to the apply menu and we apply location rotation scale now you can see the scale is set to one the rotation was set at 90 because it actually came in at 90 being imported from as an obj from sketchup okay a couple more things to go over as i move around this object let me go ahead and scale it again a little bit and ro rotate it about the z-axis and I'll type 90 and what else I want to do let's translate let's move it off to this area so now we have numbers that have changed in all of these a shortcut instead of going down to this menu a shortcut for this is the control a menu and we can apply the location the rotation the scale and a lot of times we just want to apply the rotation and the scale and leave the location the same. And if I want to move the location back, it's the Alt G. Remember G is G is our command to move it around. Alt G zeroes out these numbers right here. So if I hit the scale button now and I scale it up and I hit the rotate and I rotate it around, you know, an axis or something, I can do the same with those. I can actually say I want to reset the rotate. So if you look at our rotation, I can always type in zero here, or I can hit the Alt R button. If I want to type in, if I want to reset the scale, notice it's changed here. I can just say Alt S, and it does that. So that about covers it for the scale command in Blender.